The autonomous wheelchair project is all based on this wheelchair that can find its own way around, uh, basically completely unassisted. It works using a stereoscopic camera system as eyes. It takes two images, puts them on top of each other, and uses a disparity, as it's called, the, the distance between each object perceived, to determine the distance that each object is away from the actual wheelchair. In that way, it can navigate and avoid obstacles as it detects them around it. So the intent from here is to get it to the point where quadriplegics can possibly use mind control or head movements for plugging in destinations and, uh, and giving it control over where they want it to, to move to. And then the wheelchair needs to be able to do the rest. The reason this is different to other wheelchairs uh, that run autonomously is mainly the stereoscopic camera system. So far they've been done with lasers and usually need a whole bunch of sensors around them and uh, they're actually quite expensive. The internships have helped me with my studies so far uh, in that they've showed me uh, how to apply the theory that I've learnt in uni uh, in the real world and uh, they've also helped confirm that I'm in the right course for, for me in terms of being able to design devices for the biomedical industry. Uh, the first internship uh, showed me that I was in the right field and in uh, and the second internship that I'm doing now, National Instruments, it's, it's helping me get further into that field in terms of uh, designing autonomous systems for, uh, for the biomedical industry. <laughs>
and um, also as a, as a support base for um, students in the faculty. The Women in Engineering program holds a hands-on day for school students, particularly girls in years 10 to 12. Um, it allows school girls to come in to university um, and generally learn what engineering is all about, the different majors that you can do, what UTS um, provides to students and female students particularly. Um, I've been a volunteer um, for that day where you take school students round to different activities throughout the day and I've also been involved in um, a panel where year 12 students, girls, um, are able to ask us questions, a panel of students and lecturers and staff from UTS. Uh, they ask us questions about um, life at UTS, university preferences and what it's like to be a female engineer in a male dominated uh, workforce. Sweet Speakers um, brings together recent recruits to those companies, to IBM and Cisco, together with our um, students from engineering and IT and they come together for workshops around communications, around focusing on what the priorities of our target audience is in terms of their, their, their personal life, their social life, their, their school studies and their outlook on their options for their future. And then uh, those, um, those, those sweet speakers um, visit schools uh, in teams and there's a busy schedule of school visits between May and October every year. Uh, last year we made contact with more than 1,500 school students in, in Sydney and in the region. The WIE program um, supports me by providing me with a network of other female engineers as well as um, supportive male and female staff members at the university. Um, it also provides me with um, friendships that I know if I'm having a bad day or having trouble with an assignment or just want to chat with somebody else that's female. Um, then it gives me the opportunity. Last year for our 25th anniversary we had uh, a major dinner for 200 people um, which was very well supported by industry and the profession and uh, that was a, a cocktails and evening dress affair. I certainly think UTS as a university that's given uh, organisational and institutional support for the issue long term um, is a huge achievement. This year is Engineers Australia's um, Year of the Female Engineer and I think it's a year that we should probably be looking to enhance the female engineers prospects, um, whether it be trying to get uh, girls interested in the engineering um, workforce and trying to get more girls into an engineering degree through education, um, through such things as the hands-on day that WIE run and things like that. But I also think um, we, we need to go the other end and educate the engineering industry about what the female engineers that are coming through university at the moment, um, what, what they want later on in life. The Engineering Links program that I run encourages links between engineers and school students to allow them to make an educated choice towards engineering as a career path. The sorts of activities I run in the Engineering Links program are both visits out to schools but also school students coming here. The visits out to schools can be as simple as a career talk but as complex as an hour a week for six weeks to design a fun park. Um, the visits to here can be lab tours and that's usually for more senior students but the important part of that is they always get some hands-on activity, a design activity, a test activity that they're able to run in our labs to see real engineering at work. In the Australian Government's National Learning and Teaching Performance Fund for 2007, which evaluates teaching in all Australian universities, UTS outperformed all other Sydney-based universities in the area of engineering. The UTS engineering graduate employment rate is 94%, significantly higher than the national average. UTS engineering graduates also enjoy starting salaries higher than the national average.